my name is Anika Kai and I'm a celebrity makeup artist and content creator. Keep watching to see how I achieve this glamorous poison ivy look. I'm lightening my brows and giving them a more ginger look by using my concealer on a spoolie. With a bit more of that concealer, I'm carving out the arches of my brows. This is a fun hack I found on TikTok using an eyelash curler and an eyeliner to create a really quick cut crease. Then I'm blending out that line with a pencil brush to diffuse some of the color. Now for the fun part, I'm grabbing this chrome eyeshadow flakes from Lorella in the shade Neptune and applying that with a flat shader brush all over my lid. With this deep plum shade, I'm shading the lower lash line and connecting it to the outer portion of my crease. Using the pencil brush, I'm going over the shadow to create the shape that I want. Then I'm blending out the shape so it blends nicely into the skin. And with a soft fluffy brush, I'm blending that out even more. Winged eyeliner is going to help elongate and define the eye. Adding another layer of green to my inner corner with this pencil from Morphe. And using black in my waterline. Adding mascara to the top and bottom lashes. I felt like this look needed a little more drama so I grabbed a silver liquid eyeliner and used it to cut the crease even sharper. After throwing on a pair of lashes I decided to add a few more clusters to the tail. For this look I'll be underpainting which basically means that I'm going to be adding contour and concealer first and then using foundation to blend the two together. foundation I'm using is a sample of the house labs foundation that I got from Sephora and I've been really loving this foundation it's super lightweight and super easy to blend with a cream blush I'm going to add that to the high points of my cheeks also under my eye and in the corner of my eyes super natural effect with the skin poison ivy is not quite human so we've got to make sure that she's rosy and glowy everywhere i'm setting that concealer with my fenty setting powder can i just say that i love that powder puffs are coming back they are the perfect tool to really get that powder into the skin Instead of bronzer, we're going to be using blush all over. This is a mented blush that I depotted and I'm using this anywhere I would typically put a bronzer. And I'm outlining the corners of my lip so I can give a full effect. The red lip is iconic for this look. I'm taking a black eyeliner to help define the shape. Thanks for watching. Bye.